Virtual machines power everything, from developer sandboxes to full enterprise clouds. And when it comes to performance, stability, and features, VMware and KVM are two of the biggest names. But which one is better? Whether you're a home user or managing enterprise workloads, this video breaks down the key differences in speed, scalability, features, and cost to help you decide. VMware best for professional use. First up, VMware. Known for its polished interface and enterprise-grade stability, VMware Workstation and Fusion are top packs for IT professionals and developers. So for the pros, it's excellent performance and GPU acceleration, seamless multi-monitor and hardware support, great snapshot and cloning tools. For the cons, it's free version. VMware player is limited. Licensing for full features is expensive as well. KVM, fast, lightweight, open source. KVM or kernel-based virtual machine is built directly into the Linux kernel. It turns your Linux system into a high-performance hypervisor, free and open source as well. Pros, it's native Linux integration, which means great speed. Fully open source and free, and also ideal for cloud environments like OpenStack. It works seamlessly with Libvirt, Chemo, Vert Manager. Cons, it requires Linux knowledge, is less polished, not as plug and play for casual users. Performance and use case comparisons. Well, in terms of raw performance, KVM often edges out VMware, especially when used with Chemo and hardware acceleration. It's lighter on system resources and built for scale, but VMware shines with ease of use, high-end management tools, and ecosystem integrations. So for enterprises, VMware is preferred. For developers, sysadmins, and power users, KVM gives flexibility, power, and no licensing headaches. So which one wins? If you want professional support, a GUI rich experience, and battle-tested reliability, go with VMware. But if you're building open source, cloud platforms, or want complete control, KVM is your hypervisor. So which one do you use? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my other tech breakdowns. So see you in the next one.